Now in this particular video of C Sharp.net, we are going to cover another topic called preprocessor directive. Basically, they start with a hash and they start their working before the actual processing of the program. That's why we call it preprocessor. Now, how can you use it? Basically, if you want to make the conditional compilation in your program, for example, you have written some line of codes and you want at a particular situation only some of those lines should get compiled in order to save the compilation time. So you can put the preprocessor directives in your C-sharp programming in those situations. So let's see how we can implement them in our programming. So as here in this example you can see, first of all I have used a preprocessor directive like hash defined and I named a variable here called pi and uh, right here you can see as in the introduction we have discussed like it will provide you the conditional compilation so if hash if you have defined this pi this part will be compiled by the compiler otherwise this part will be compiled so as here I have defined this pi this part will not be considered like if I write anything out here you see I will not get any error and console.readline pi is defined will work. In case if I will remove this particular line, so you see now if part is disabled and now else will be compiled and now I started getting the error. So this is how you can provide some conditional compilation in your C sharp program using the preprocessor directive.